If you've been building in the Relevance AI platform, you know you can do all sorts of things with individual AI agents equipped with AI tools. But with our new AI Teams feature, which is currently in beta, you can bring together groups of specialized agents that collaborate in a similar way to human teams, combining complementary capabilities in autonomous end-to-end -end workflows. Let's try setting up a content repurposing team. The goal of this team is to take a piece of content like a YouTube video and automatically turn it into eight different types of content for other platforms. If we think of AI teams like an office with managers and staff, we know we'll need one main agent in charge of a group of workers that completes specific tasks and projects. With AI teams, a manager agent oversees sub-agents and distributes information between them. It makes sure all the AI workers get the information they need to succeed. Let's start by building a manager agent that can receive task requests, run tools needed to gather any initial information needed for those tasks, and delegate work to other agents. For this team, we've given it the title Content Coordinator. Remember to include a description of what your agent does as this improves its performance. This is where we select a model for it to run. You can choose from multiple options. We've equipped it with a tool that extracts transcripts from YouTube videos and given it a prompt with some information about its role, responsibilities, and how it should carry out tasks. We've also given it some labels for its tasks, which helps with organization and makes things easier if you have to search for a task by label later on. Here on the left is where we assemble the content coordinators team. As you can see, there are eight other specialized sub-agents we've added. Each agent has been set up with its own specific name, description, and prompt to drive the best performance for its outputs. If your specialized agent needs tools to complete their tasks, this is where you could add them. But in the case of this team, our agents are just writing copy using a large language model. We've got a TikTok script creator, a Reels script creator, a blog creator, an EDM creator, a LinkedIn post creator, a Twitter or X threads creator, a Discord post creator, and a social post caption creator. If we go back to the content coordinator edit agent page, we've also used the workflow builder to give extra direction about the order in which it should perform tasks and delegate work to other agents on the team. On the settings wheel for each agent in the content coordinators team, we've turned on run without asking. But if you want to approve each step your manager agent takes, you can turn this off. In this section, we've also created a described variable that tells the manager agent what information needs to be sent to this sub agent to complete its task. In this case, the manager agent is going to extract the YouTube transcript outputted by the YouTube video transcript tool. So we've named this variable output from content coordinator. In the description of that variable, we've given instructions to input the transcript from the YouTube video transcript tool. We've done this for each of the sub agents as they all need the video transcript to complete their tasks. Okay, our team is all set up and ready to go. So let's try it out. So here we've given it its first task, which is to extract that transcript from the YouTube video link and immediately it's gone ahead and it's triggered the TikTok creator agent, which has optimized that transcript for a script for TikTok. And now you can see it's done the same thing for Reels. So it's triggered that specialized agent with a prompt that has instructions about how to change this for Reels. Now we've got the blog creator agent, which has gone ahead and written us a really nice SEO optimized blog. And here we have the EDM. So we've given it instructions that have helped it change this into something you could actually mail out if you wanted to reuse that transcript from the YouTube video for mail content. Now we've got our LinkedIn post. So in our prompt, we gave it some instructions about how best to optimize that for LinkedIn. And we've also got our Twitter X thread, which it's gone ahead and added some emojis as well, which is very helpful. We've also got our Discord post now. And finally, we've got our social post captions. And what's really cool is that it's actually tagged its tasks as well as it's gone through with different labels that we gave it. So there you go, there's our content repurposing team.